Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha if it is your first time here and today's video is part three? Part three of my decluttering series and I feel like it's like a theme now for me to have no makeup on and look like a slob during these videos. So that's what we're doing today. We're decluttering. Do you like my new robe? Isn't it cute? It's just like a basic white robe. Spencer got it for me for Christmas. It feels so like spa like you know because it's like white um <laughs> random uh so that's what we're doing we're gonna declutter today and today i think we're going to do bronzers and cream bronzers i was thinking about doing bronzers blushes and highlights like all together but my blush and highlight drawer is like it's a lot so that is going to be its own video and then bronzers and cream bronzers are going to be in this video. So the next one will be blushes and highlights. This one is bronzers and cream bronzers. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are, the bronzer drawer. There's not like a whole lot going on in here, but there's definitely some things that I know I'm not using anymore. So I just need to kind of like, you know, go through, start anew. It is 2020 after all. So let's start with the cream liquid products. So the first thing we have here is this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Contour Wand. I really like this, so I'm going to keep it, but it is like almost empty, so I feel like I need to get a new one. But this is a really good uh, liquid contour. I just wish they had more shades. Like this is fair to medium. That's like a really big, um, you know, it's like a really big scale, fair to medium, because like sometimes this is too dark for my skin. Like I have to be wearing... A little bit darker for foundation or I have to be a little tan like I can't use this all the time even though it is a really nice product and it blends out really easy and flawlessly I just wish that they had like a bigger shade range so I can utilize it more next we have the milk makeup uh, cream bronzer in the shade baked I love this one this is a really a uh, staple cream bronzer I feel like a lot of people like it it's easy to work with it's easy to blend out Milk is a really good brand. They have some nice clean ingredients, so I'm definitely going to keep this guy. Next, I have this ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Hydrolonic Creamy Concealer. So this isn't like a cream bronzing product. It's not marketed as that, but it is a concealer and a lot of concealers you can use as like cream contours or bronzers. And I did really like the concealer formula. This has become like quickly one of my favorite concealers. But this color is so like yellow and strange. It does not work out at all. I've tried to use it again as like a bronzing contour and it just like, the shade is so off that I have to get rid of this. Next, I have this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. I bought this like literally forever ago. So I'm gonna get rid of it partially because it's like two years old, I think. And because I didn't use it that much, it is a nice, uh, you know, cream liquid bronzer from the drugstore, but I didn't really find myself grabbing it very often, so I'm going to get rid of it. Next, I have this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. Now, this is really dark um, for my skin, so I have to use really, really light. I actually bought this based on a video I watched of another youtuber using it and she was pretty fair skin and I thought it would work better for me but it doesn't the matchsticks formula is amazing this is just like the totally wrong shade for me but I'm gonna keep it because it's Fenty and I'm gonna use it as like a cream eyeshadow versus like a cream bronzer because it's just too dark for that but if I'm wanting to just like throw on a really quick smoky eye I could just paint this all over the lid and blend it out and it would be like a cute grungy super easy smoky eye so I'm gonna keep it just for that, but I'm gonna take it out of my bronzer drawer and put it with my like liquid shadows. Next, I have this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This used to be like the concealer that everyone used to contour and to like actually conceal with, and I did really like it. I'm gonna get rid of it though because this is literally like two, three years old. I just haven't been reaching for it. It is nice, but I found that I have found products that I like more and work better. So I'm getting rid of this guy because it is so old. But if you're looking for like a really cheap um, cream bronzing, cream contouring product, or even a really cheap concealer, this is a good one to check out. You can get this at Ulta and online, I think, but it is like $5, like it's so cheap. Okay, and lastly for creams, I have this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Luminous 
liquid bronzer this is in the shade faux tan i really like this i got this at like the very end of summer and this is like a product that you can put all over your shoulders and your chest all over your neck like it just kind of gives you like an overall bronze more than i would say like a cream contour or cream like i don't know really how to explain it it almost is like liquid suntan in a bottle so this is something that you could use to kind of bronze up your face but i don't think it's gonna last as long as if you were to use like the milk makeup stick or even this charlotte tilbury this is really more just to add like a sun kiss glow everywhere like your chest your shoulders your face rather than like to bronze contour with but i'm gonna keep this because this is so nice on like summer nights when you're trying to look really sultry really tan you know really sexy and you just need like a little bit of added glow this is great. Okay, I have one last cream bronzing product, and it is this Hourglass um, Illume Sheer Color Trio. I've talked about this so many times. I believe I even mentioned this in my yearly favorites video. This, I clearly don't use the blush or the highlight. I just use the bronzer. You can tell by how dirty it is. This cream bronzer is so amazing. The formula to it is so creamy. It blends out so fast. It looks just so perfectly natural and beautiful i literally only have one complaint about this and it's that this is the only shade it comes in this is the only one that it comes in which makes zero sense because this works really well on my skin tone because it blends out lighter than it is and so if you're darker than me which i feel like the majority of people are uh this will not work for you and that sucks because this product is amazing hourglass like you need to come out with more shades because this is so bomb like so bomb Okay, so now on to powder bronzers, and I might as well start over here. I have this guy right here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronzing Light Powdered Bronzer. You guys know that I love this bronzer so much. I still have this little travel size, and I've been rocking it for a while, and I swear, like, I haven't even made a dent in it. I don't know how that's possible. I do want the big one, but I'm like, this one is, like, still doing good for me, so... I'm good with just this, but I'm definitely keeping this guy. I have my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzers. When I flip them over like this, they're just like so reflective. I have Into Sun and Shady Biz. These two shades are perfect for me. One to contour and one to bronze. So I'm definitely keeping these guys. I have two of the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzers. I have the shade Tantric and I have the shade Tantastic. Tantastic is a little bit more orange. It does have a little bit more of like a warm tone bronze to it this is when they had their coconut collection these bronzers are so nice they uh come with the most massive mirror in it. it's so nice for like when you're traveling to take one of these with you and this is the shade tantric this one is a little bit darker but it works really well in the summer for me i'm gonna keep these because they're just bomb um i got like stuff shipped back here too i should probably grab these so I have this right here. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzing and Contouring Palette. So I actually got this in a boxy luxe, I believe, and I used it once, but I didn't really love the formula. The bronzers are a little bit too dark for me, and I'm not really going to use these highlighting powers, powers, and I'm not really going to use these highlighting powders. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because it's just sitting here wasting away. I really like the concept and I really love the packaging. I think it's really heavy duty and it's really pretty, but the shades just like don't work for me. So I have this ColourPop empty palette and I just have some loose powders in here. I have the uh, bronzer in the shade Opening Act and I have this highlighter in Main Attraction. That should actually be in my highlighting drawer, but I don't really have room. I'm going to keep this because this is just like a nice standard bronzer. Shove that there right back there. So next, I'm going to go through. These are all ColourPop bronzers that I have. So the first one I have is... Oh, man, they're, like, in there, so I can't really, like, read the shades. But this one here is clearly way too dark for me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So I have to, like, pop these out to read the name. So I'm going just straight based on color right now. I do really like this one. This is a nice warm tone bronzer. This will be really good for summer. And then I have this one, which is also way too dark for me. Sometimes I feel like um, their powders online are like deceiving in their colors. Like they always appear lighter online. And then when I buy them and I get them, I'm like, whoa, that is way too dark. 
And then this one is from the Coconut Collection. This is called Coconut Beach. This one does actually have a name on it because it is part of a collection. This is a nice bronzer. This looks like it's a really good sculpting shade for me. So I'm going to keep this guy. Next, I have this Milani Baked Luminous Bronzer in the shade Soleil. I really love this for the summer. I don't actually use this as a bronzer. I use this as a bronzer topper. So I will go in and bronze already just normally how I'm going to do. And I'll take like a duo fiber brush in this really lightly and go over and it adds just like a really beautiful luminous suntan oily type of glow to your skin. So I'm going to keep this but I wouldn't use it as a bronzer. I only use it as like a bronzer topper. I have two bronzers from Thrive Cosmetics. These are the Sun Chaser uh, Blur and Sculpt Bronzing Powder. I have this one right here in the shade Rhea, which is their matte bronzer. This is like a perfect contouring shade to me. I'm definitely going to keep this guy. I also have the one right here in the shade Eos. This is their shimmering bronzer. This one is a lot darker than Rhea, so I am going to get rid of it because I bought it because I wanted like a luminous bronzer, but it is a lot darker than I expected it to be, so it doesn't really work on my skin tone. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on this guy. Next, I have this Milani Cosmetics Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Sunkissed. And this bronzer was okay. I found that I've worn better bronzers from the drugstore and the color was just a little gray on me. So I am going to declutter it because I would never reach for it if I'm going to be honest. There's other bronzers from the drugstore that I think work better. So I'm just going to get rid of this guy. Next we have the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. And I use this the same exact way as I use that Milani Baked Bronzer. This I use as a bronzer topper. I would never wear this alone just as a bronzer because it is really shimmery and it is just a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So after I go in with just like my normal bronze contour, I'll hit this guy with the Duo Fiber Brush over the cheeks and it just adds that same beautiful, luminous, sexy glow that it does with the Milani one. I love these baked luminous bronzers as bronzer toppers. They're so amazing and it really just like steps up the glow in your skin. I have two of the butter bronzers from Physicians Formula. I have the shade bronzer and I have the shade sunkissed. Bronzer is like my everyday perfect bronze shade. It is like a more of a satin finish. I want to say it's super matte and I also want to say it's really luminous and it smells amazing. If you haven't used these bronzers, like they are probably the best bronzer at the drugstore. And then I have the one in Sunkissed Bronze. This one is my summer shade of the bronzer. It is the exact same finish as the previous one, but this one I wear when I'm a little bit more tan or I'm going for more of like a dark, really bronzy look. I'll go in with this guy and it works exactly the same. It is beautiful. I have this Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. This used to be like the bronzer that I feel like everyone talked about all the time and I used to try to use it, but it is very obviously a little too dark and a little too gray for my skin tone so i'm sure it didn't look great i'm gonna get rid of this guy i mean i love the packaging i think it is so freaking cute but the shade just doesn't work for me so i gotta get rid of it next i have this wet n wild mega glow contouring palette in dolce de leche and this used to be like my favorite drugstore bronzer i mean you could tell i've hit pan on it and it has this nice brightening powder i actually still use this brightening powder quite a bit and I'm going to keep this because this is a nice bronzer and it is a nice drugstore bronzer. I have the NARS bronzer in Laguna. This used to be like my favorite bronzer of all time. I mean, you can tell it's kind of tore up. I should get rid of it because it's like a million years old, but I'm kind of keeping it for like nostalgia and like every once in a while, I do like to dip back into it. So I'm going to keep it until it literally crumbles and falls apart. So I have these two Tarte bronzers here and they're both in Park Avenue Princess except for this one is luminous and this one is matte and I honestly think I've gotten both of these in the boxy charm which is funny because I also got this Park Avenue Princess full palette in boxy charm and if I'm gonna be honest I just never reach for these because they're just too dark for my skin um I mean you could tell that's just like way too dark for my skin tone. So I'm going to get rid of these. I do think that, you know, they blend out well and they're good bronzers, but the shade just doesn't work for me and they're just sitting in here collecting dust. So 
And lastly, in my bronzer drawer, I have this Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It's so beautiful and luminous. You just swirl it around and mix both shades in there. And it is the perfect shade for my skin tone. It just is a nice luminous bronzer. It reminds me a lot of this Hourglass one. I find that they're very similar in tone and in texture, the way they go on your skin, the way it looks. I'm keeping this guy because I really, really like it. The packaging is super cute. It is a little bulky, but the bronzer is so amazing that it doesn't even matter. All right, and that's it. We are all decluttered in my bronzer drawer. It looks a little bit more cleaned up. I got rid of actually more than I thought I was going to, so that's cool. Let me flip you back around. Okay, guys, so here is everything that I am decluttering, getting rid of. Actually, way more than I thought I was going to, not gonna lie. So that's it for today's decluttering video. I'm really surprised with how much stuff I actually got rid of. The next one is going to be blushes and highlights and that is probably gonna be a long video because the drawer is so messy. Let me give me like a little sneak peek of how this drawer looks because it's a hot mess. Are you ready for this? It is so overloaded, literally, do you see? All the way to the back, there's a lot going on in this drawer. So that's what we'll be doing in the next decluttering video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms. I'll put them all up on here on the screen. And subscribe to my channel. I post on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.